extreme weather right here, we actually going to see a very good chance for severe weather on Tuesday. Right now, we just keep on what is going about the winter side. But I mean about there will be a lot of snow. I mean, there's going to be a lot of snow on that area. I mean, it's just crazy how much snow there will be. I mean, there will be a chance to have a little bit blizzard traditional with a severe weather threat. But we are looking at what is happening like on Tuesday, like 3 a.m., you can see where's the snow side of that system. You can see there will be a, a really good chance on severe threat on Tuesday, but it actually start round at least around 1 a.m. But you can see the closest thing is you can see at like 11 a.m. threat for severe weather part of the system. We are looking at the outlooks right now. You can see a, a very good clearing about what additional but severe area. You can see a, a very good chance of 10% chance of severe risk for moderate and not severe risk, but there's, there's severe, I mean the S-I-G, that means there's like stronger tornadoes. No, it's a little bit violent in the name, but like those tornadoes could be in EF2 or above. Just let you know about that part to see what is going on about those threats. Just, I want to let you know, but about the 10 tornado principles, I will show you right now. You can see what's a good chance at right now at 8 p.m. for tornadoes, but there's not a lot of storms. But when we get to around like noon, around midnight at 2 a.m., there's a little bit of chance for tornadoes but a bigger chance for round tomorrow, round 11, but round 7 a.m. for this run. But back to like one hour ago, you can see a very good deal where that noon will be set up. Round the 3 p.m., you can see a good chance over there, but round 7 p.m., on Tuesday, that's where we need to keep eye on during can lose veil that area. But uh, how much moisture there will be, there's not a lot above around Oklahoma. But the wind shear will be a top notch over there because the shear is so rapidly with the height. I mean, with the shear, there will be a large chance for thunderstorms. That's why this is very we need to keep an eye on for this violent chance for thunderstorms. But other hand, we're going to talk about what is upcoming for this December. What is going on about the Christmas one? Just let you know about snow chance. I will show you that right now. This is just will be at like 1 a.m. during Christmas 25th. That's what I was trying to let you know. Around at 7 a.m. during this morning, you can see where the areas will have some Christmas snow, but it's not that over yet because at 1 p.m. or 7, yeah. Around noon, you can see there's not a lot of snow, but when we go to the more areas, the chance for snow at the northeast at 1 a.m., you can see some little areas. There's not much at the Christmas 25th as well. So you can see 
some areas will have a lot of snow during Christmas. Well, this is the GS. That means they're really far away predicting about snow. Just to let you know about that. But we need to keep an eye on the severe weather part. That's what is important to let you know. But I will see if there will be a good chance for live stream about that threat because it's, we need to keep an eye on all of these tornadoes, hail, damage wind, magical, all of those winds. Stuff going to get uh, gusty out there. You guess how much gust will be uh, right now, but I will show you, right? I mean, not, but to show you it. But let me go back to the NAM about the gust will be uh, the max thing out. You can see uh, some areas will have around at least 58 per hour. Let me do get the state of Oklahoma to show you how much gusty there. You can see around some areas will be a, a very strong gust because it will be around 56 I mean, some areas, some areas only will be around 40s or above. That big area, we need to keep out for the damage wind threat at 1 p.m., but not thunderstorms. But there will be strong wind gusts in that region. We need to let you know about that. That's why I'm over here to support about what is happening because we need to keep eye on about all of these threats for thunderstorm, damage to wind, all of it, because this is a very strong December, like December 21st, when I blow up, I mean, make a good video about that, because I will show you a lot about that, but this could happen again, but we keep our look to see how much good chance for tornadoes because this is a, a, not like a big deal just to let you know this could happen because this is could be a, a very bad day or not but we need to keep out words because this models could change because we need to look because this could be very badly to just point that out but this is extreme weather out here